Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of WWE Supercard. This is episode 40, and I am fireproof. And we are going to get right into the game. We're in the middle of our King of the Ring. We have been doing the Biggie Dude method of the, uh, only holding back on two of the, uh, like doing the eight man, some can do, some do the six. I'm not that gutsy yet to do the six, but we are going to do the eight man, uh, the eight man band, which he calls it, which is your two tag teams and all your solos instead of the divas tag team, which I'm not even sure if they're called on a lot. But we are. We are currently 12 and 2. And I think the only reason why we're 2 is because we were sleeping. I do not know. I know they did have some kind of update the other day. But I don't know what it was. We have two hours left until we find, uh, get to the ring domination set up and format. Which everybody knows that is going to be right back. My goals are just to get to the, uh, the legendary pull or the, the pick there every time because, uh, I don't have the paint the patience to uh do ring domination. I'm sorry but <laughs> maybe a message has been received. Maybe in the future once I get a good good solid deck I will. Like for that I need a couple more uh epic pros. For PCC, I need one more Epic Pro, and all I get are the small ones. Daniel Bryan versus Stone Cold Steve Austin. My Stone Cold wins. Divas match. Oh, we're just going to uh, throw this one away. Because we got this one. See what would happen is if I would have done it the other way. Uh, would have probably came up the same, but I gotta train my uh, my natty for uh, so I confuse her. Because that will give me an other. Diva Pro, and I'm still looking for the last male one, the last guy pro, so. But that. And sometimes I, if I stop for in the middle of something because I was going to say something and probably forgot or can't re or couldn't re well, it would have equaled up the same thing as couldn't remember what I was going to say but Naomi and Naomi I, I wish they would have let Sorry, I had to pause it where you missed Naomi. I had to shut my door. Mm, who am I going to pick? I'm going to try to pick Austin. It 
and we win three, uh, two to three, or uh, two to one. Sorry, not two to three. Uh, I'm not with it today. So I'm sorry. And we are we're in the uh, we're twenty two energies out of twenty five. Would love another epic pull. Hell, I would love another uh, legendary pull because it just seems like any time we get a legendary or an epic pull, it's always a a. Uh, for me, I have not had a legendary pull yet off the board other than the. Uh, Other than I think, what was it? The Mark Henry. Then uh, my freebie was Gold Dust for making it to the uh, four thousandth pick. Uh, what else was there to do? To, uh... Oh, we'll go to Blake. And I like the old uh, times two better than the times one that they have now. If, you're, if you won King of the Ring, you were guaranteed at least two of the same pro cards, or two of the same cards to pro. Power and speed. And it just seems like anything that we've done lately to get to the, uh, to get a rare, uh, rare pull was, uh, or like a epic or a legendary pull is we got the enhancements and they suck. Yep, they, they suck and everything, so I don't like them. They're not bad to put them on the character, but they should not be consulted as a board reset at any at any t uh, type. Uh, possibly a, the the uh, support cards or the uh, superstars or diva should be considered as a uh, board reset. And I know I say that a lot, and I. Cause I mean it, and like I know, Biggie dude went through uh, his whole card before he finally got his uh, Kofi Kingston. But you know. It, it is what it is. It just... Ever since I've made it here, I have not gotten a legendary pull other than the first... My first two. Which were, like I said, the, uh... The board and the freebie that I got. And when I first started buying the Epic Pack, the Roman Reigns is the one, the first one I got, and it helped me for a while and until I got to the legendary now he still will pick up some wins just not a lot ooh a right back that is legendary that is pro ouch and as you see as you can see I do have Natalia in there she is my second Natalia And I've noticed that the uh, the game, and I say this all the time with the divas, the game is biased to the divas, and I've noticed that it's biased to up and down arrows as well, because I always see left and right arrows.
but never any hardly any up and down arrows so hey we got an ultra rare enhancement I hate when that resets the board my natty is fully trained We'll put her with power. We'll put another toughness on her. That speed we just got, or uh, yeah, we'll put that speed that we just got on her. And let her go train some more. Uh, we'll go to King Matt. And I'd like to brush up on something that happened off. Like on other people's comments or like my comments to other people, and this this is to Biggie Dad, and I I know he probably won't get the chance to watch it because, and I respect that and everything, but with Biggie Dad, he tells stuff that's happening in his life. He's in the game. And he's doing what he likes to do and loves to do. Don't be mean to everybody that comments on their stuff. Or post a comment on other people's comments about the, uh, the person that you're watching. Or trying to bash the person that you're watching. Or bash, like, my someone bashed me for me liking Biggie Dad. I was called names, I was called gay for liking him, but you know, it was taken care of, I ain't gonna drop any names, but please have respect to other YouTubers, and uh, yeah, because we are here to entertain you, and if we don't, you have one or two options, A, don't sub to us. And B, don't comment on our stuff if you don't like us. A lot of other people like us. Yes, I ha I may have only 28 people on my subscription. To me, that's awesome. I didn't think I was going to have that much. But, you know, if you don't like us, don't comment. If you don't also don't like us, don't subscribe. That's your choices. We like to do what we like to do. Biggie Dad is, I think, what, 72 years old? He enjoys it. Yes, Biggie Dude helped him, but they do stuff as father and son. And I have all the respect in the world for that. I have this respect that he he's that old and he loves this game. Don't knock the man down because I'll say, "Oh, he sucks. He's boring." Yeah, that's not that's not nice. And yeah, granted, there there are some YouTubers that are that make their YouTubes being heel, but that is on your own channel. Don't go to other people's channels and disrespect them. You still can be a heel and like somebody. You can still be go on somebody's and be a heel, but don't be disrespectful. Because to me, you should be blocked for that. And in the comment section below, if like uh Sonny or Biggie Dude happens to watch this, or even Biggie Dad now, since this one was dedicated to Biggie Dad. Uh, I'd like to, or anybody that knows how to block people, if, could they tell me how to block somebody if they're doing disrespectful things on your channel?
Because I haven't figured that part out yet. And I think in one of the other videos I said I did, but I can't remember. Because I can't remember how I did that. But yes, this is to Biggie Dad and showing my support, my respect. Because he likes to tell the story. To me, he likes to tell the story of his life. He likes to tell. Like, it's the only way to keep people interested. Yes, he grinds to it and he talks and. Like, he's. He has. He's that. He has a lot of history to it. And with that in mind, I will see you on the next episode of WWE Supercards. And, uh, we'll take the last poll, and I, I've been too much talking, so, <laughs> bye guys.